let's talk celosia. This year I am going to be starting two different types, um, two different varieties of celosia. I have the flamingo and then I have pompous plume. So let's dive in and talk a little bit more about celosia. Celosia flamingo blooms summer to frost. Height is 24 to 30 inches tall. Um, germination is pretty typical, 7 to 14 days, and it does need light um, in order to germinate. Um, so it does say so shallow. Um, the best time to start this is 6 to 8, if you're starting indoors, is 6 to 8 weeks before your last frost. So soon, um, not yet, possibly the end of January, maybe the beginning of February, I will be starting Celosia. Seed depth is an eighth of an inch, so just barely covering it with soil. It does say space every 12 inches. Um, I don't know. I might um, kind of play around a little bit with that. I might do some 12 inches. I might do some um, six inch spacing. I think I'm just going to put holes every six inches in my landscape fabric, and if I have to skip every other one, that's fine. Um, with this Celosia flamingo, it says the color starts pale and then it intensifies throughout the growing season. So you can kind of see how it's like a pale yellow, almost like a silvery color at the base of the stem and then it gets a brighter pink towards the top. It's great for a fresh and dry arrangement. Also, what made me, and I didn't know this until I started researching Celosia, what now I'm super excited about growing celosia about. And part of me is like, ah, oh, maybe I need to get more seeds. But then I'm like, oh, no. Next year is kind of like a trial year. Going to see what works, what doesn't work. But it does say that celosia is heat and drought tolerant. So I'm super, super excited. I'm like, maybe celosia can hang on during our Texas summers. Not sure. We'll see. Um, it can be a perennial um, zone 10 plus, um, but I'm zone 8 here. Um, you can sow outside one to two weeks after your last frost. And it's my understanding that these, like the flamingo, flamingo part, the pink um, tops are five to eight inches. Um, rosy pink, feathery flower, um, and it's also container friendly. So that's super exciting as well. Next, Celosia pompous plume. I hope I'm saying that right, but I think so. I'll also put another picture from In My Gardener on the screen as well while I'm talking about Celosia. Um, very similar to Celosia Flamingo, looks is a little bit different. Maturity is 90 to 100 days. Um, height, it's going to be taller than the Flamingo. It's 32 inches to 48 inches and 10 to 24 stems apiece. So I'm trying to understand that a little bit. I mean, I don't know if that means like one seed is going to produce 10 to 24 stems. If so, that's incredible. But we'll see. Um, germination is 70 to 80 degree range, and it takes 8 to 14 days. Um, start indoors, so same as the flamingo, 6 to 8 weeks before your last frost date. Spacing um, is 6 to 12 inches. So again, I'm probably going to hit more of that 6 inch mark. Um, and then seed depth is the same. It's just an eighth of an inch. So just a very light dusting over the top of the seed. Um, lots of colors, um, yellow, lemon, cream, pinks, orange, and like a scarlet color, like a really vibrant, oh, there you go, that color like right there, scarlet color. Um, quick to bloom will continue until harvest. And it just says, you know, pick to preference, but, um, before it goes to seed, um, Celosia thrives hot, dry conditions. As mentioned earlier, it does great as a fresh and dried flower. Um, if you were to dry it, you would just hang the bundle, the bunches upside down. And base life is five to seven days. So I see seven days a lot. Hopefully we can get past that five day mark. So I'd really like about a week um, base life. And again, it is container friendly. So that is our Celosia. Um, on how to grow cut flowers. Next week, we will have different cut flower varieties. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.